How do I find you? What should I do? My name is Zach and you're watching Bite Sized. In this video, I'm gonna show you how I made a Stranger Things message wall using some Christmas lights and some addressable LEDs. The first thing I did was open my box of C7 Christmas lights and plug them in to make sure they worked. Then I removed each bulb from the string in preparation for hollowing them out. I tried several unsuccessful ways of hollowing these bulbs out, but settled on using a pair of pliers and brute force. This ended up being a quite difficult and pretty frustrating process. I needed to end up with at least 26 bulbs, one for each letter of the alphabet. After I finished hollowing out the bulbs, I took a pair of pliers and yanked out the green base where the bulbs screw into. Okay, so I've finished cracking all the light bulbs open and hollowing them out. The string of lights that I bought had 25 bulbs already on them and I went ahead and bought another 25 replacement bulbs. So I basically had like a yield of 50%. I ended up breaking about half of them in the process of opening them up. But I think I've got enough here. I need 26 and I think I have at least like 27, 28. So I've got a couple extra. Now the next step I'm gonna do is uh, finish hollowing out the green base part so that I can slip the LEDs through and then I'm going to glue a bulb onto each of the green bases. One of the tricky parts about this project is being able to individually turn on and off LEDs that are in a long string. So I thought about this problem for a while and I thought maybe I could like get regular LEDs and kind of multiplex them, but I thought, you know what, that's too much trouble for this project. So I went ahead and purchased the WS2812B and it's an individually addressable RGB LED. I went ahead and bought these in a surface mount package which is, came in a bundle of 100 for about nine bucks on eBay. So you can actually put a bunch of these in a string and control each one individually. I spent quite a bit of time messing around with these trying to get them to work and I never actually got these to work. I went ahead and just purchased the same exact LED but they're actually already on a string for me. This came in a string of 50 but I'm only going to need 26 so what I'll end up doing is cutting off the last 24 and another problem with these is the cable in between each one only gives me about three or four inches of space and so what I'll probably do is chop off the middle of these and add an extension cable in between. For these extension cables, I used a 25 foot piece of stereo audio cable that I cut up into 10 inch segments. Now that I've got those extension cables ready, I need to wire the three signals together. The three signals are five volts, ground, and data. I started out by tinning each of the wires with a little bit of solder. Then I slipped on a piece of heat shrink tubing, which would provide some electrical isolation for the signals. Then I soldered each of the three wires and applied some heat with my heat gun. I repeated this step for all 26 LEDs. This took several hours. Once I was done, I wrote a little test code to test each of the LEDs. The last thing I'll want to do to make this like a string of Christmas lights is to attach those Christmas bulbs that I prepared earlier onto the little LEDs. Now it's time to attach this to a microcontroller. I chose the Arduino Nano for this project because it's really cheap and easy to use. I want to make this project interactive, so I think it would be kind of boring to just have some pre-programmed light sequence that just goes off and on. So I'm going to attach an HC05 Bluetooth module to the Arduino, and this will allow me to send messages from my phone and have it be spelled out on the wall. The Arduino sketch takes incoming messages on the serial port and translates them into the appropriate LED blinks. I used MIT App Inventor to drag and drop blocks of code to create a simple messaging app for my phone. The last thing I wanted to do was to program the Bluetooth module with the name of Will Byers and give it a password of 11 because, you know, 11. Okay, so I've got the LEDs all set up and now I'm ready to take some packing paper and paint the letters of the alphabet and hang them up on the wall.
Okay, so it's time to test this thing out. All I have to do is open up the app that I created and connect to the Bluetooth device that I named Will Byers and enter in the password. Then I just type in my message and then I just hit send. This was a super fun project to build. If you want to build one for yourself, check out the link in the description for an article on my website where I show you step by step how to build your own. If you like watching project videos like this, I've got several more on the way, so be sure to click that subscribe button below and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I really look forward to sending some spooky messages to any visitors that come to my house this Halloween. Thanks for watching and happy Halloween. Mm.